Welcome back to Main Street Living. Now, Cheryl, you know, uh, as we all do too well, that we have been stuck inside a lot uh, these last couple months. And so we are try <laughs> just trying to be, you know, just trying to state the obvious. Uh, so we're trying to find ways to, uh, at least I am, to bring like the outdoors indoors a little bit more. So, I mean, uh, we were talking with our producer, Melissa, before I just bought some house plants, but we're all just kind of looking for a way to, to kind of bring the outdoors in, I think. Yeah, especially as the weather turns colder and then we're really going to be stuck indoors. So we want to try yeah. to brighten it up and liven things up inside. And Chicago Eco House is an emerging sustainable urban agricultural development in the inner city. And it's pretty cool the work that they're, they're doing. So here to tell us about it is president and founder Keelan Blackwell. Thank you so much and welcome to Main Street Living. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So you have a great story. I mean, your journey has taken you through the Peace Corps, ministry school, and now sustainable agriculture. And you started with a dream, and now it's becoming a reality. Talk to us about that. Uh, yeah, it's definitely been uh, an, an, or, an, or, uh, an unorthodox, uh, you know, story. Um, so, you know, really, like, the foundation of our work has really just been inspired by my faith. Um, you know, like, as a Christian, I grew up originally in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, so I was like fortunate to like grow up largely away from a lot of the realities of the inner city. Um, but, you know, I really just sort of felt led to give back. So, you know, back in 2013, um, when I was in ministry school, I did uh, some tutoring at a high school here on the South side of Chicago. I um, mean, through that experience, I really got to know like a lot of the kids, a lot of the families, a lot of the people here. Um, and I really just sort of felt like I needed to, you know, I had a choice. Either I could just look away and live a normal conventional life, or I could really dedicate my life to the uplifting of, you know, my people here. Um, and I chose a ladder. So, you know, my background's in uh, community organizing as well as renewable energy. Like I worked in the biodiesel industry as well, mm -hmm. um, in addition to the Peace Corps. So, you know, when I was seeing like the vacant lots, I sort of saw op an opportunity to really merge both of my interests in sustainable business with community development. Um, and, you know, thus the Chicago House was born. And not a lot of people are doing what you're doing. And it's so important too to inspire the youth and be a role model for them. And what you're doing in Chicago and in Detroit, you've got four farms all in the inner city. I mean, this is amazing that you're doing this and you're helping youth. What has the reaction been so far? Um, it's, I mean, now it's great. I mean, people love it. You know, in the early days, you know, people were a little, uh, you know, they don't quite know what we're up to, um, especially focusing on flowers. Um, a lot of people would tell us like, hey, you can't eat a flower. So, you know, why are you growing food? Um, you know, we're like a lot of the communities we work in, unfortunately, are food deserts. Um, but, you know, for us, like the focus has always been on creating jobs and building industry from the ground up. Um, so once people started to see that there's money in flowers, uh, you know, all of a sudden people like really fully embraced us. And, you know, now we're in a situation where, you know, a lot of communities would love to have an eco house in their neighborhood. Um, to provide jobs for some of the most vulnerable young people. Absolutely. And you were talking about flowers. And one program you created is Southside Blooms, a farm to vase florist that provides unique arrangements. I mean, this is perfect for any occasion. <laughs> on this a little bit. Yep. Including COVID, by the way. You know, like a lot of people, uh, a lot of people have been stuck inside. So, you know, a lot of people are appreciating having fresh flowers being delivered to their doorstep. Um, but yeah, so we started Southside Blooms as a social enterprise that branched out of uh, the work we're doing at Eco House. Um, and the purpose of Southside Blooms is really to, uh, you know, really create long-term sustainable job development for our at-risk young people. Um, so yeah, we basically take the flowers that we're growing on our Eco House farms and we will process them into bouquets. And then we have a online delivery service. So people will come, they purchase a bouquet. You know, we have people just... You know, we'll buy for birthdays, anniversaries, funerals, um, whatever the occasion is. And, you know, we deliver anywhere in the Chicagoland area. Um, and that's actually turned out to be very successful for us, uh, you know, dealing with COVID. I mean, you know, originally we we're thinking we we're going to focus more on events. But, you know, when COVID hit, you know, all our events mm -hmm. had to happen. So we had to really adapt. So, you know, when we adapted to, you know, a direct-to-consumer online delivery model, I mean, we just start by selling on Instagram. Um, and it just blew up. So, you know, this year we did, you know, over $100,000 just in flower sales. Um, and, you know, that's really been able to help us support 10 part-time jobs for our young people, you know, here in our community. So it's really been a big difference maker, uh, particularly during these really difficult times that we've been going through. 
You are doing so well. And I'm sure people watching this are getting inspired maybe to do something similar in their own community. And I would love to chat with you more, but we are about out of time. So where can people go to learn more and check out what you do offer? Yeah, so you can go to www.chicagoclass.org. There you can read about us. You can send us an email. Um, you can also go to www.southsideblooms.com. Um, we have our holiday wreaths uh, for sale, as well as uh, some holiday cards that we'll be selling. So you can sign up there. You can get a place in order, uh, and we'll deliver it to you. That is wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. All right. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, we've got That's a lot more awesome. ahead. On, yeah, a lot more ahead on Main Street Living, Danielle. It was a great segment. Yes, I love watching people uh, doing good. So let's keep that rolling into the next segment. Stick with us.